Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project sales and inventory management system. And I have developed this project in Python, Django and MySQL. For the Python version, I'm using the Python version 3.7, Django version is 2, and the MySQL version is 5.6. I'm using this version software for developing this project. So this is a web application. So for web development, I'm using the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and some of the jQuery library for developing it, right? So this technology is, uh, stack I have used for developing this project, a sales and inventory management system, right? So let's start with the functionality go through. So the project title is sales and inventory management system. It's the major DBMS, Python, Django, and MySQL web-based project, right? DBMS because we are performing the database operations in it and the database we are using the MySQL. For connecting MySQL with Python, I'm using the Python MySQL connector, right? And uh, uh, it's a measure because it has a lot of functionalities, right? Also, this theme uh, you are seeing, it's a bootstrap theme. This means it's a response. So if you open this application in the mobile, then the screen will not be distorted and it will be set according to the mobile device. If you open this application in the tab, then the screen will be set according in the tab device, right? Okay. So let's start. So this is the home page of the project. You can see this is a good home page. There are a lot of images we have used, contents and all the alignments are very good. Right. This is about project. It's a static page and um, there is nothing dynamic on this page. I'm just uh, using the static content for developing this project. If you want to change the content, just open the about.html from the templates folder and you can change there. This is a login. From here you can log in. Uh, means admin can log in and admin can perform certain operations. Right. This is a contact us. This is a static contact us page. I'm not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database, even I'm not sending any type of email and SMS from this page. This is the real Google map. So because we have used the Google development, so that's why it's saying the development app, but it is working and it will work only if you have the internet connection on your laptop or system. Right. So I'm going to log inside the system. So the user ID is admin and the password is test. So once you log inside the system, you will get the dashboard anywhere. You can perform these operations from the admin, right? Admin can perform these number of operations. Right? So this all, uh, you can see, this all operations is available here on the top bar also. So you can see there are a lot of options here. So you can jump on that page from on clicking on this option or clicking on this option. Right? So let me show you dashboard, so cells. So this is a cells. Right. Once you uh, open the cells, you will get all of the products which has been added by admin. Right. So let me uh, order some of the things, add it into the cart. Right. So this is the add cart. Once you add the cart, you can see there are five, five items available. Means you need to choose only five things. Right. So I am adding three, three add to cart. Right. So I have added three, but I have not confirmed the order. Right. So this is cells, three items. And again, this one I am adding. So this is 81 items. So I have added 10, right? So this one, 81, this one, right? And the five, one, five, the first one, right? So now I'm going to uh, save cells. Once you click on the save cells, then it will ask the customer details. So once you enter the customer details here, for sure, right? You need to enter the amount is calculating automatically. You can see the amount is automatic and the contact number and the address is the in Delhi right once you click on the make payment oh, sorry save sales then you will get this number of items right so you can see this is the three items we have ordered and this is the 10 items then if you go on the cell section and if you open this section then you can see there are two items available because two already three already you have ordered right but if you on this section then you can see there are 71 items available right so because thus 10 you have already ordered right so this is a sales this is admin from where you can uh, add any number of products from here you, there are currently 8 to 10 products uh, products available but you can add any number of products right this is the add new product type from here you can add the product type this is add new company from here you can add the company right and this because you can get all of the product type here this is the dynamic drop down this is also a dynamic drop down right this is a product report all re all product which you added will be displayed here you can see this is a stock right even you can edit it and update it also right so this is the product report this is a company report sorry company report all of the company which you added will be displayed here you can edit and update details from here right 
this is the product type report all of the product type which is available in the system will be displayed here and this is the cells report all of the cells and if you want to to uh, edit then you can read from here also right so this is the view of items from where you will be able to see the items which you have sold right this is the inventory report means sales and this is the inventory and you can see the inventory for all of the products which you have available right so this all this all are the inventories right okay so this is the my account section from my account section you will be able to update your account details and this is a change password from where you will be able to update your account password right this is a logout so this once you click on the logout then all the administration menu will not be displayed because the session is not set right so the this above menu is total session driven if you log inside the system then it will be means admin option will be displayed you can see the admin option is displaying but if you log out from the system then admin option is not displaying right so you can see admin option displaying and it's not displaying right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this product sales and inventory management system right it's a major project developed in python django and mysql it's also a dbms project right because we have used the mysql in this project right so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comments i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you